it's Natasha and thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to show you my super, super quick batch making of cards. So I have been asked this a fair few times, what's my go-to when I am batch making cards? And it is something like this. Now I'm going to use this Petal Trio stamp set, but I also did think about using this one called Five Daisies. Uh, I've used this one a couple of times and I'm also going to use it in some upcoming videos. So I'm going with the Petal Trio. I'm putting my whole card base into my Mini Misty. A stamping tool does work really well for batch making of stamping cards, but doesn't have to be. I am stamping it down in some VersaFine Onyx Black Ink. And then I just swap in the next card and then stamp again and stamp again. Now just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to make three of these. So you can see it's nice and quick to just pop in the whole card base, stamp down and then pop in the next card base. So I've got all three done here. Now just before I put this away, I'm going to use some of the uh, Gina K Masking Magic. Now any um, masking paper would work really well here. However, I do love the Gina K one because it takes on so much ink without bleeding through. And um, I have said that a few times, people have asked if they can use post-it notes and things. Post-it notes would work fine uh, as long as they you kind of get the sticky in the right place. But any brand of masking paper or anything that um, isn't going to tear up your paper works really well. I have definitely tried quite a few brands of branded and non-branded masking papers and this one I definitely have found works the best for so many reasons. So for me it's worth investing in a good masking paper when I know it's not going to ruin my projects halfway through by ripping the paper when I pull it up and things. So that to me is worth saving the money through not ruining uh, my projects. Now anyway, I'm going to cut just down the edges of the petals here, of the flowers. I'm cutting off all of those leaves and things. And you can see I didn't even make a full mask. I only need the piece uh, that will go right there in the middle. I'm going to take off the backing paper and pop it right down on my first card front. Then I'm going to take two more pieces of the same masking paper that I think these are maybe one inch strips, but just any strips um, that you could mask off. You could also do this piece with some just plain typing paper that had some removable adhesive on the back or something like that. I'm going to start off with the VersaFine Clear Morning Mist, which is just a gray color. And you could definitely ink blend this on. I am just being lazy or efficient, depending on which way you look at it, and just going direct to paper, and I just swipe either side of that mask. Then I will pull up those two um, pieces there. I will pull up the mask that's in the middle. Now, because in particular I'm using pigment ink, you could use any ink here, dye ink, pigment ink, hybrid inks, anything that you have, I am going to pop it down on my little scrap piece here and just give it a quick little wipe off because the pigment does stay wet for a little bit longer and I don't want to transfer that onto my next colour. So here I'm going to pop the mask right back on again and then use those same pieces of masking paper to mask off. And then I'm going to do the same technique, but with a different color. So I'm moving on to some Monarch, which is a really dark purple. Now, obviously, if you ink blended it on, it wouldn't be quite so dark at all. But as I said, you can use any colors at all to do this. And then once I have done this purple one, if I were thinking about it, you should probably do light colors first if you are using the same mask. But it was smarter here to wipe this all off while it was still on my project. Then again, I will just pull off those two strips and the middle part, and then I'm moving on to my last one for today. And this is a good example. You can see here how much ink, how saturated that middle mask in particular is, and it still doesn't bleed through. So that is, again, one of the reasons why I really like this masking paper. Now this one here I have slowed down to be in real time and I was just testing there to see if it was going to mark my ink pad at all, but it doesn't at all. If you were smart you probably would have done the lighter colours first, <laughs> but I hadn't pre-planned my colours so I was just picking out what was in front of me, <laughs> the colours that I like. And then one quick thing to remember that when you are working with pigment ink is that it does stay wet a little bit longer. So you'll see here when I go to pull off the final mask, I put my little fingerprints down there on the bottom right hand corner. So I am just going to take a little sand eraser and take off that ink. These sand erasers work really well for kind of light smudges and things of ink. They are not meant to get out really deep saturated ink at all, but anything that's just a light smudge on top, they work really, really well. Here are my three cards that we created today. 
Now you could definitely leave the flowers as is and I do want them to be white. I really like that stark contrast between the colour beside them and the white flowers. But I did think I would add just a tiny little smidge of colour. So to do that I'm just going to use a little finger dauber. I love finger daubers for uh, creating cards. I use them in almost every card making uh, project that I do and you can see I didn't even re-ink it up I just added a tiny little bit of color there in the center so you'll be able to see in the finishing photos what this really looks like it's a little bit hard to see here on video um, the effect that it has but it definitely just adds that tiny little bit of something in the middle now using some VersaFine Onyx Black Ink, which is the same one that I stamped the original flowers in, I'm just going to pop the Best Wishes sentiment down the bottom of the purple one. Then moving on to the yellow one, I'm going to use this Technique Tuesday stamp set and have the little Happy Birthday down there. Sorry about stamping this off camera as well. This little stamp set is called Sassy Birthday and I am going to be using this one a lot in upcoming videos. I've used it quite a bit. I do love to get really good use out of a stamp set. And then this one is an old WOW stamp set. Now I don't even think this one is available anymore but any sentiments that you have at all. I'm going to finish it off by adding a few little white Nouveau drops uh, no matter what the colour. If you wanted to colour coordinate them that would work too but just for quick and batch making cards I like to keep it all really clean and simple and easy. And when I hold this up a little bit closer you get a better idea of how gorgeous those little Nouveau drops are. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you found this video useful and I really look forward to seeing you in the next one. Thanks, bye.